Okay, we're gonna try this one more time. Now, what I did was, in the last video, I figured I'm gonna save the last video because you could then see how I um, had done it and screwed up and then um, kind of adjusted it and, and gonna go over. So, because I cannot think straight today at all, it is just not a good day. I wanna talk about a few things very quickly. Um, one thing I did was I took a damp paper towel and it can be a rag. And when you have your paints in your palette, spray it with a little bit of water, have a damp paper towel or rag and set it over it so it stays wet. And then you can go back in later or tomorrow and work with it. Um, what I'm going to do is because I cannot think straight and draw, I drawing just is not, I even tried on a piece of paper. My mind is just not with me right now which I know, haha, ha, it's hardly ever with me. However, um, I made this out of clay and this is what I'm essentially trying to make here. So what I thought I would do is take this and use it as my template and draw, which is not a crime. Um, not a crime at all. So I'm going to take my pencil very lightly and just kind of draw sketch I do have a picture on Facebook of the one that I had done the painting that I had done of this on a very big canvas and if I remember which <laughs> never happens but if I remember I will um, let's see yeah that's good I will put it up of the big canvas that I did um, but you see what I did, I just kind of drew it on there very lightly with pencil because um, I just, I honestly, I, I tried to draw this. I couldn't, my hands just aren't, I just, ugh, let's just put it that way. So I now have my flames and I'm happy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my orange. I have it on there and I'm going to put a little bit on there and let me do let me just lightly erase this just very lightly so I can barely see the pencil marks because I still want to see where I'm going but I don't want to see the pencil marks and I don't want to worry that if I'm going over with paint if that makes sense it might it might not okay and then I'm going to take my orange with whatever brush you have and just do your best to kind of, and we'll get a smaller brush. But I'm outlining in the dark, even though I want the lighter at top. But we can use a smaller brush to really uh, get those points in and do all that. But I have my. flames the way I want it. I'm going to kind of bring it down here a little bit and then okay so then now I'm going to just rinse my brush a little bit. I'm not going to be too worried. Take a lot of the orange off. I'm going to go into the light yellow because I want to blend this orange. And what we're, I did gesso this, but underneath, but this is also going to act like a gesso because I just want to lay these colors in. I just want it to look like flames. And I might even have to grab the smaller brush now. I don't think we need a piece of dry paint in there, do we? I'm just going to push some of that yellow down, get some of that orange out. And then go into the little bit of the darker. And I just want to add the yellow in here. Now, technically, if we're doing this flame, I don't know why I have, I'm, I don't think I cleaned my, uh, plus I probably need cleaner water. I don't think I cleaned out my uh, thing as well as it should have been. Um, technically, you're going to have 
a darker flame inside than on the outside, if that makes sense. So let me grab, you know, if you ever look like at a, at a match or whatever, and the lighter is really on the outside, like where you want to like, if you if you ever, uh, I love doing glass beads and all that with the torch. So I'm going to take the dog hair out of the paint and I'm just going to go in with my wet brush and I'm going to blend this orange. Now you can do this in watercolor too, like I said. And I'm just going to keep rinsing my brush, leaving it watery, going in my yellow. And this is the golder yellow. And I'm going to go in and hit those outsides. Like I said, I'm not going to worry too much about the corners or how I want the, um, you know, these to be at a point yet. I'm not going to worry. I'm going to go and get some more. Go here. I still want that acrylic, that orange acrylic underneath to be dark and wet. And then there. And you can see how it just gives depth. And if you're using, you can use your acrylic marker, you know, your uh, Copic, mark, Copic, Copic, whatever markers, Bix. Sharpies, watercolor, pencils, whatever you want. But I'm just laying this yellow in here because I'm going to pick up my bigger brush in a minute. And that's the lighter yellow. Again, you do it whatever way you want. But what I'm going to do now is rinse off my brush set it down. I'm going to take my bigger brush. This is my beat up big, what is it? It's a Donna Dewberry flat. I don't even know what size. I mean, it's so old you can't even, this thing and the, this is loose and all that kind of stuff because I just abused the heck out of them. But what I'm going to do is kind of sweep this, just sticking in the middle because I want it to have that texture. And just kind of sweep it. It's fun because you see it come alive because remember when you're looking into a flame and if you get too much paint on it either have a journal page near you or a towel and wipe it and go back in. When you have um, a flame if you really look at it there is no right or wrong well it's wrong to I just stuck paint in my mouth it's wrong to uh, get on that part right there but there's no really right or wrong of how the flame looks, except the orange is always going to be in the inside and the outsides are going to be lighter. So just pull off what you can. Use a Q-tip if you want. We just want this to be as light as we can get it without having to add too much more yellow to it. We want that texture. Okay, I'm really happy with that right now. And let me lift it up. Can you see? And now what we're going to do is I'm going to clean off that brush. I'm trying to make it a point to clean off my brushes like I need to. I'm going to take this flat brush. I'm going to take some of the yellow. And I'm going to take it on both sides. And I'm going to take the, jeez, oh, Pete, the cats and dogs must have been up on my desk. And I'm just going to kind of go in. And then I'm going to show you a trick that I do a lot. Once I kind of lay this in a little bit, now I can see that it's a little bit too wet yet because it's mixing. So what do you do when that happens? And I've been doing this a lot lately because in mixed media, I want my colors to stand out and to pop on each other. So what you want to do is I'm going to make this just a little thing there. I'm going to try that. And I'm going to take my big brush in one more time because I see it's just not dry enough for me. Because I want that to kind of come through. I know it's very boring to watch this, but it does make a difference, at least to me. But then I'm crazy. So let's try it. And you'll see why in a minute.
one great thing about acrylic paints, and even watercolor paints, really, they dry very fast. Acrylics more so because they don't have the extra water in them, but you can use either one. You can use a marker. And I like these flames so much better. So much happier. So, I'm going to rinse off my brushes. Dry it. And then I'm going to go in with my darker yellow. I'm just going to stir it up here a little bit. And I'm going to go in and drag it over. And it's okay. Just keep it on the outsides. Yes, it's dark, but it's not as dark as the orange. You just want to follow that outside of your. And if a little of the yellow goes outside that flame that you drew it's okay because like I said there is no perfection in flames flames are whatever you want them to be and I just bring it in and like almost draw it over and you can use a smaller brush if you want like I said it can come out a little bit it's okay and then take it and then paint inside. Leaving those edges. I thought a piece of dog hair in there, I swear to God. How does a piece of dog hair get dried in my paint? That's my question. I have to find my digger. Okay, wait, let me find would this be any other way? I swear. It's only me. I don't want where to go. Am I imagining it? Could be my hair because my hair is falling out because of the damn medicine. I don't know. Whatever it is, it is stuck in there. Probably a piece of cat hair. Maybe it's just me thinking that it's something. I don't know. Who the heck knows? All right. Now I'm going to go in for more of the yellow paint now that I've distorted that. And I did not dry that part underneath. And it's okay. Of the darker yellow. But remember that texture is going to come through. And we're going to frame all this in with a blue and not a piece of dry paint. I did not clean out my palette well. Let that be lesson that you learned from me today. Make sure you clean out your palette well before you put paint in it. Where you get dried paint chunks from a previous time. Okay, now we're looking. I love the texture of the flame. Can you see it? Can you see the texture of the, the flame? Oh, it's going to look awesome with the other color in there. So I'm going to go in. I'm just going to finish whatever yellow I have here and just spread it around because that orange is still going to come through. And we're just getting this very delightful uh, color combination. And remember, using acrylic paints when we're done, you can go in with your Copics or your watercolor or whatever, or your Sharpie or whatever, and trace it, which I might do. Now, one thing I don't like, and I can fix it with the blue, but what I'm going to do is this part right here, the point isn't as pointy as I want it to be on these two. So I'm going to go in. And bring this point in. Do you see what I'm saying? And I'll drag that in. And then this one is kind of like, I need to kind of like flatten my brush. I'm gonna.
I want that to be a little pointier, but it is not working for me. So hopefully I can, uh, I'm just going to pull this in and then go over it with the yellow. These I want a little pointier. I might have to go and just shape them with the black marker though, in all honesty. So I'm just going to pull that in with the yellow. And mute it out a little bit. Okay. So, just so I get all my yellow done, it isn't going to hurt for the painting inside of the flames because you're just adding more texture, more color, more, uh, when you look at it, it just gives you more dimension. And something else you can do, well, we'll talk about that once I get to the next part then. All right, so I got that. Okay, so now I'm going to wash all my brushes. Get them dry. And I'm going to hit this with the heat gun for a minute. And I'm going to pick the blues I'm going to use. So, oh, let's start with a light blue. Let's start with. All right, this is Ceramic Coat Blue Heaven. By Delta. And I'm just going to squeeze a few on here and take my big brush and I'm just going to lay down my first coat. I always go light to darkest so I'm going to go with the <clears throat> lighter, excuse me, color. And don't forget your sides which I will probably go back with the darker one and frame the dark, do them a dark color. As close to your flames as you want. It's so windy and icky here today. Gosh. And I'm gonna scrunch it in, scribble it in with my big mark, my big brush, so I can get as close as I can to that heart. as close as you can before you pull out your smaller brush. so far. Now can you see the blue how it makes it pop a little bit? So I'm just going to use my small brush here. And I'm just going to put a little bit, a little squirt of blue. Oh, that was a big squirt so that'll be spread out. And I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to go in and the best I can because remember touch-ups don't hurt anything. I'm going to go in and get close to everything here.
dinner quiet, I'm sorry. I don't know why. I guess because I'm trying to concentrate. I have no idea why I got quiet. Actually, there's a there's water on my brush. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know. And I'm waiting for it to drip. Like I keep looking at it. Like just let me finish this. Don't don't let me go have to wipe all this off. And don't drip. <laughs> I don't know, silly things. I've done so many of these. And I really like doing them. And to everybody, like to so many different people, they mean so many different things, the Sacred Heart. To me, it's just having a, a good, pure heart. But I know that some people, for some people, it's a very, uh, it's a religious thing. I'm not really sure what. But this one kind of goes close in there. I don't think I picked the best brush to use. Because it's thin, but it's too flimsy. I needed a small, firm brush. Okay. I'm done with that brush for now. Let me just get this in. Because I blocked all those little spots in. I love the way the blue, I always do the blue background and I'm going to do a darker blue on here also, but I love the way the blue pops with the red and the orange. I don't know why I always go to that color. I would like to try a purple one. Maybe one day I'll do a purple one in the art journal. I could use this as I'm sitting here thinking I could use this and my word be what could my word be that I could use this for the one uh, the one um, what's the word am I thinking of the one challenge we have in our group all things creative. Our group is all things creative on Facebook, by the way. I'll put the link below. And he has two uh, challenges that go on a week. One is anything but a journal page. And one is with a, like she'll give like a theme. Last week was spring was the theme for an art journal page and then anything but an art journal page was the color blue. And this week it is a word, like an inspirational word. And then anything but, I'll have to check. I'll check before I, I get off of here. <clears throat> so uh, I know it. And then I'm just gonna use a darker blue. This is just cobalt blue. And I'm just gonna dip it and dip it and dip it. Makes it easier. Take my big brush, clean it off, dry it off, and go for it. Now you can wait for your light blue to dry all the way. You definitely can. Remember this is canvas I'm using. If you're using your art journal you'll get a, a different look because of course the canvas has a canvas look underneath. It doesn't get that nice flat Unless you really gesso it. Like I could have stopped here 
clear gessoed everything and then went over it again and added more layers and all, which would have been great and fun. For the person I'm doing this with for, I don't know so much that um, that's what I want to do with this. But for an art journal page, I might redo this, use different colors, use funky colors, and then play it my way a bit more. I just kind of want this to be more forward and simple. And I don't think today I could really think outside the box, honestly. <laughs> I couldn't even do flames. Uh huh. Flames of all things. Again, I'm just going to scurry up to that end. I have my colors sitting out. One thing I do suggest when you're painting at all, whether it's your art journal page, on a canvas, whatever, um, sometimes I find myself putting my colors away when I'm done. Like I would have put that color away anymore, but lately I find myself forgetful and forgetting what color I've used. So that's another thing I like to do is just leave my colors out until I'm fully done. And maybe most of you do that because you're very smart. However, sometimes I don't know what I think. I think I'm doing like good by cleaning up my stuff. And then I go and I'm like, well, what color did I use? You know, got some orange, some blue and orange. Don't want that. Get off there, friend. But, uh, yeah, it could be a pain sometimes. So I've been leaving mine out. So if by whatever chance you're like me and you put everything away when you're done using it, even though you're not done with your painting or your journal page or whatever you're doing, clay, whatever it is, leave everything out. Now I just squirted all over my painting. How funny. When I close my lid. Oh, joyous paint. I'm telling you, it's just not... Not a day for me to create today, but I'm doing it. All right, now I'm just gonna be hazardous and just go for it and clean it up when I'm done. Get close there, buddy. All right. Now to pull out the smaller brush. After I get all this done. I see I'm going to have to probably outline it. Okay, where's my small brush? Here you are. Let me take some of this blue off and litter it down a little bit. You see I'm watering the blue acrylic down a little bit just to get in here. Just to bring it in. And then I'll, I'll fix everything with my bigger brush and more color. But now what I'm going to do is just take my brush and get these colors off of here that I don't want. Like this blue. So when I go over to paint, To clean everything up, I don't have to mix that in. It's like a magic eraser. Looks a hot mess right now, but we will fix it. So let's go in. Just give it a twist. Remember to move your paper towel so you don't get it everywhere like I'm doing. But it does come right off. as well as some of the blue. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I rhymed. 
I don't get upset when these things happen. I don't know why. Because it's all fixable. See? And that wasn't my final coat. I knew that I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to add some detailing and some, word, you know, words on the bottom and probably draw around with a black marker. So when you're not feeling good and you don't feel like painting and this kind of stuff happens to you, oh, I kind of like that around there. So that clearness around the orange. Hmm. Don't know. I really kind of like that. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see if I can pull some of it away from over here. I kind of like that. Oh, am I liking the wrong thing? That's the question. to look like if my dogs start barking I apologize I kind of want to look like it's like I don't know oh I don't know I'm kind of liking that I don't know almost looks like a print and it's not it's me who did this and screwed up and then like the screw up What should I do? What should I do? I don't know. And then what about... Okay, this isn't... I'm not digging on that. So let's get this, some of this blue off here because I'm not digging all this over here. This is too much. I don't know, I'm kind of liking this. I don't know. I'm so confused. I don't like the blue right there on that. My poor dogs are just big away. I don't know, because it kind of has like this reflective, like, like, should I make it go all the way around off a little bit, like lighter? Ugh. Who allows me to make videos? That's what I wonder. I'm just digging on this. I don't know. Maybe I'm just doing it and it won't go to the girl I want it to go to. I have to ask my husband what he thinks. But it's kind of like I started playing and it just turned into like something fun. This paper towel is going to be a fun paper towel to play with after. I don't think my fingerprint needs to be in there, but oh, I can add texture. Oh, do I want that texture now? Okay, I want to fix that, but I want this to be like kind of You guys are along a journey with me. I don't even know if you knew you were going to take or wanted to take. Okay. Hmm. This around here might need a yellow glow, though. All right, let 
let me just do a teeny bit of blue there because and please don't splash everywhere thank you very much i appreciate that I don't want you to be sponged. I think I went over you 12 times. And I kind of just want you kind of brushed in, like kind of get off there. Get off there. I'm mighty close to that. I'm kind of like Like that or do I like that? I don't think I want this there. This looks smoother. color in here even though it's a little bit hmm. a little bit more color in here but not really Now, I want it to have, I want a bright yellow. Oh, good God, let's hope this works. I just want a little bloop, bloop, bloop yellow. So I want it to like be like right off of that. Gonna be a little bit green, but let's see. I can always go over it. I'm not gonna fuss about it. Cause I want that to be like shining. The light. Which once this is dry, I'll go over again with the I don't think it'll work over here, but we'll see. I wonder if I should do the red there. Oop, it's turning into poopies. Poopy color. Taking that poopy color off. But I just want that to like kind of, and this will be like our gesso in a sense, because I'll go over it again with the bright yellow. Hmm. I'm not sure. Really not sure. I don't think I'm liking that though, I will tell you that. I don't like it around the heart. So I know. Whack a doodle. That is me. So I'm just gonna go in and bring it back to the blue. I like that dark blue around that red. And I'll clean that red up. Obviously, I'm going to need another coat of the bleu, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. I just know that I want that there. Oh, my head hurts. Okay. All right. So I got to take this off here. There's some blue. 
I don't want them on my red. Okay. So I have to think. I must think. This I don't know about, but I can fix the blue. That I can do. Because I'm not really digging on that. Because uh, my water is muddy. I'm not digging on the glowiness around the heart because there's really no need to although I was excited to try it it uh, backfired but um, where they say no venture no venture no gain they say something I say poo poo on the bleh oh my god I got you guys in here see this is uh, okay this is gonna, I'm gonna put these both up and then if you guys wanna watch them, more power to you. It's just me creating and playing around doing a live show. I just wanna play and I just look like crap and I feel like crap. And if I would have done this on a live show, nobody would ever cam again. when I can't decide if I like something or not. I should have just stuck with my gut and just went with outputting this here. The yellow, but I thought the yellow looked so cool. Kind of looks like somebody took a piss on it, doesn't it? Hold on. Hmm. I'm not liking it. I'm just not liking it. I don't know what I don't like about it. I think if I start it out, I think when I do a journal page of this, I'm going to do this because I really like this. But I think doing it as an afterthought was not a good idea. You see what I'm saying to you? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? And here she goes. Again, for the 30th time, painting over her damn flames. Because her too, her flame has went out. And she is psychotic. She is crazy and wacko. And everybody probably has tuned out at this moment. And will not be back. Seriously, for people who are just like who just find me on Facebook or find me on YouTube rather and see and listen to me talk to myself, they must think <laughs> there's something wrong. That's probably why I get the messages that people write me like, are you mentally retarded? Because like whoever let you play on the computer today. Now, if I was a good girl and I could edit or even wanted to edit. I could edit all this out and then just be a beautiful painting. Look how fancy Kelly is. She's so fancy. And you would have saw none of it. But I can't edit. And I want you to see me screw up. Because I don't want people... I think people who edit... Um, you know, edit their videos and all. I say, hey, more power to you, baby. I think it's great. I think it's wonderful. I think if you can edit and you do it, I say go for it. Me? I can add another video. On to, I could connect these videos if I want. And then it would be only six hours, which who doesn't want to watch six hours of me? But not only that, I just, I don't know. Just not my thing. I 
I don't think I found my thing yet. Because uh, I want to do too many things. That's the problem. We're getting there. I'm not going to torture you while I finish the rest of it, but I just wanted to get that yellow off because it's going to need another coat of blue. And the blue has to dry. Another coat of red. But what I will do is the bottom. I'm just going to paint the bottom blue. Because that way it's like a, one of those canvases that you can hang on the wall and you don't have to frame it. If you don't want, so I like painting the sides and the bottom. I don't know what coat I'm going to use though. And once these are dry, I'll do the other two sides. See, I want to pull out like a, see, that's the problem. I want to do a lot of things. I want to maybe pull out a stencil or something. But the blue is going to have to really dry before I put another coat on so I can really color, color that green. The yellow here, I just kind of want to run. I'm just going to put it on my finger. The yellow I have left in here and add highlights for them. Because while the, the blue's still uh, wet and there's no point, but I don't want to waste that yellow, so I'm just going to take what's there and put it in and leave everything kind of get a good dry. So I will put the picture of my finished painting. And then look, you get this, I get this really cool paper toweling that needs to dry. So I can use it for something or reuse it. Not only do I use it in, um, as collage stuff, I also use it in paintings again and again and again because I'm going to rinse off my brushes and dry them. And then that paper will dry and I can use it again. <coughs> Don't do it if you use watercolor because watercolor will reactivate. I'm using acrylic. <coughs> Excuse moi. Um, one thing I am going to do, I'm just going to give you a rundown of what I know I'm going to do. Rinse off my brushes. I'm going to uh wait a minute, I can't I can't talk and do this at the same I know. Talk about goofball. I'm going to go over this again with a good coat of uh blue again. I want to add stencils and I have a few stencils and I'm not sure. Let me show you the stencils real quick. Oh gosh. I have this stencil. I have, I just got these the other day from Blitzy. This stencil, which I dig, and I have this. So, and I have my other one. So I don't know if I'm going to stencil around a little bit <coughs> or just take my black marker. Or if you don't have a marker, use acrylic paint on a small brush and outline all this. I am, however, when, once this is all dry, I'm going to just leave it sit. I am going to um, see, because I'd like to add some pizzazz like this has. Like, can you see? No, you probably can't. It has texture. This is made out of polymer clay. Clay. And um, so I might add some glitter on the outsides. But I want to add a little bit more yellow in here, and I want to kind of outline it so it stands, and I want to figure out what I want to use as a quote. Now, I can stamp the quote, or I could write the quote, or I could print it out on the machine, but I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, because it like to me, and the way I do art, this is just so like plain. And I don't know if all the outlining and everything and the quote, you know, for the person I'm doing it for, it might be perfect for. So I have to decide on that. Um, I'm going to thank you guys for sitting with me this long to get to this point of me keep screwing up and fixing it. 
And uh, any questions, just ask. I don't think you should have any questions because I'm a real dork and uh, screwed everything up and <laughs> went over it 12 times. I'm going to keep my orange wet there and then cover it with my paper towel. Um, but I just wanted to do something today artistic and I've been meaning to do this and thought, why not do it on video and then you see where I'm at. So that is it. But I will post a picture in the All Things Creative group. I'll put the link below if you're not a member there yet. Uh, it's free to join. We have a lot of fun. We have a lot of uh, swaps and activities and all kinds of fun things to do. And I want to thank you guys so much for sitting through with me and bearing through all this with me. And um, as always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I hope you all have a fantastic day. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.